All right. Hello, everybody. It is I, Granarite, and here we are back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald with our Gen 3 type challenger Dragon type. We are going... Uh, we Last episode, we took on our father, Norman, for the fifth gem. We are now heading towards Fortree for the... Um, oh, I put up the wrong Pokemon again. Gosh. Diddly darn it. Let's get this under control. That's what I get for, for not paying attention. We are making our way up to Fortree. So we can take on Winona, the sixth gym leader. We're already at the level for Winona. I don't just have an antidote. Okay. This we got. Uh, we got what? The counting this one. Four more fights before we get to the um, Weather Institute where we can heal. To get out this gray loom. Oh, I see your headbutt. Raise you a headbutt. So we're most likely going to have another evolution this episode. I want to have to deal with Pokemon. We'll spray a repel. We got a Ninjask and a Slugma. Swap surf up here. Well, down goes and then jazz. Lickety split with a thunderbolt. Ooh, the coughing hangs on. Barely.
All right, there's one trainer left. Swap for Tropius here. Good deal. to fight our rival after here, don't we? There's always a lot on this route. There, There's just a bunch. And down it goes. Trap inch. Come on, buddy. Come on. That's so frustrating. My trap inch shouldn't have to rely on Shelgon to level up in double battles. It's got really good attack, it's just slow, and it doesn't seem to have any defense. We need to get the evolution and get the um, dragon typing, and also probably a huge speed boost. using Trap Edge and Shelgon for both of these Pokemon, or for the fights in here, because they all give speed and attack. Every single Pokemon in here gives speed and attack, which is the two stats that we want on these two.
rage. Alright, we're just gonna keep trying to pinch up. And I cannot drop down Trap Inch's uh, attack due to Hyper Cutter. Swagger is a good move. It's annoying, but it's good. Might take it out with as high as our attack is and a double boost from the Swagger. Which we did. Which is awesome. All right, blah 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 blah. They give us cast form. We swap these two up. Just a uh, speed walk through here. we heal before we get out of here all right you wanna you wanna fix that maybe maybe the game doesn't want to fix it my tracker will catch up soon It's 30. Well, I will level us up. Close. Pretty close. Fake out's a good move. You should always use fake out first if you have it. Let's fly. Zodiac, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoyed the content. Feel free to chat if you want to just chill. All right, we got Fabian and uh, I didn't see what the other guy, Yasu.
Good quick attack. Poison! Oh, we got Poison Point on Seedra now. Well, that's nice. Actually, lore appropriate. One more battle we can do here. Uh, because we always have to have one slot open for Mew, so we can have HMs, you know, a member on the team that has HMs, uh, so we can get through the game. So five is the max we can do. Um, for uh, having an HM slot open. And then um, the reason also uh, we sometimes drop down to four is just however many Pokemon there are available of that type, it just makes the math work out, and then we don't have a whole lot of duplicates, if that makes sense. For example, if there's 12 uh, Pokemon available of a type, um, we could do three teams of four, Instead of two teams of five and then two with, you know, two repeats. If you're interested in the rules that we use Zodiac, uh, all of the rules, um, you can type an exclamation mark rules uh, into the chat and it'll pop up, I think, with the nine rules that we use to follow for this playthrough. All right, we got some stuff to sell, so let's hop in here and sell. Hey, Chloe Lewis, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy the uh, content. We don't need a hard stone. We don't need the smoke ball either, really. Well, I am glad that you enjoy. I will buy some Hyper Potions. You came here from a YouTube video, saw the rules in the description. Oh, I gotcha. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you uh, found the content on YouTube. Everything goes on there after we stream it live. I am doing well, Chloe. How are you doing today? swap up these hyper potions oh, could i could i buy revives in there i didn't even check good in case we need any all right so we cannot waiting for my reply yeah no i said i'm doing well is it just delayed a little bit i'm sorry if you cannot hear me, I'm doing well today. How are you doing? Ah, you tricksy person. All right, we got a Rosalia here. Good flinch. You're seeing this game for the first time, but it looks good to watch. Well, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Uh, you know, if you're not an old school Pokemon player, you know, Gen 3 was a while back. That hurt. All right, so let's swap.
So do you follow stuff on YouTube, uh, Zodiac? Ow, your age. <laughs> Truth hurts sometimes. <laughs> Uh, I'm a casual player. I don't play competitively. I watch competitive, uh, but I, I just play casually. Been into Pokemon ever since it came out back in Red and Blue, and just one, one of my faves. Uh, I, I stream Pokemon mostly. We stream Pokemon for an hour or two every day of the week. Yeah, we already ran through this type challenge on Gen 1 and Gen 2, and that's all archived on my YouTube channel. Um, so now we're doing Gen 3, and we'll just keep working our way upwards through the generations doing this type challenge. I mean, I've been doing it for six years now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, it is pretty nice. Alright, so we got the Devon Scope, which is what we need to get into the gym. Since there's a Kecleon um, blocking the way. Uh, you actually just got recommended one of your videos like 10 minutes ago, and it just so happened you're streaming, which was a great coincidence. Yeah, well, I stream in the mornings most days. So you can always, in this time, find me streaming. Ah, Chloe, yeah, so you do um, graphic art for streamers. Uh, I appreciate the offer, Chloe, but I am not interested at this time. Alright, so that... Pokemon is going to run off. Let me keep Seedra up front to start off in here. Yeah, you too. Have a good day. I mean, not a good stream. Have a good day. So yeah, uh, Zodiac. If you since you followed, if you put alerts on and everything, you'll you'll see whenever I come live. Uh, and I I do Assassin's Creed on um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday before I do Pokemon. But I do Pokemon for one hour Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and for two hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then we do then we do late night multiplayer streams on the other days of the week. Uh, let's, let's, let's. Let's evolve Trap Inch. So if you want to catch any of the archive uh, content, Zodiac, um... You know, YouTube's the place to do it, but if you want to catch anything live and just chat, you come you come hang with me here. Should have took out the uh, Doduo with, um... How are we getting Kingdra? So I've rammed the ROMs through a, um... Uh, what is the, what's the word? 
a, a randomizer um, program. So the, the 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 randomizers that people use, where it completely changes the game. You can there's a there's a setting in there that um, the randomizer editor. There's a setting in there that enables impossible evolutions. So with impossible evolutions enabled, um, we can I we can get uh, we can get evolutions like that either through um stones or leveling up uh within the regular playthrough so we will cedra will evolve into kingdra at level 40. i think like next gen is when we like oh hold an item and uh and it'll level up type of thing but it's the same way with like all the trade evolutions they, those all happen via level up except for slow poke the slow king which i think is water stone because it already levels up or involves via level the slow bro so the only change i did to my games with the randomizer editor was uh the enable possible evolutions Well, thank you. I thought it was a good fix. We're also going to get our evolution from Trap Inch into Vibrava after this episode. Or after this fight. So that is exciting. Vibrava is trying to learn Dragon Breath right away, which we are going to learn. We will learn that in place of Rock Tomb, I believe. What, what's, what's my move set here for flying? Dragon Breath, Earthquake, Hyper Beam. Okay, so yeah, we'll get rid of Rock Tomb here. Does our Pokemon power change of a Brahma? Us. Okay, so it's got Levitate now. It's just not hit by ground attacks, which is pretty cool. We still have Rockhead. Yeah. Uh, so let's finish out. Um, our little trainers here. Look at this team full, full of Altaria counters. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Now we're gonna have some. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know how much of my older content you looked at uh, from past playthroughs and stuff. We are gonna have some hard playthroughs in Gen Three with different types. We're, we're going to run into some issues. Um, and those, that's what we're looking forward to, uh, is when we run into those issues, um, how we're going to get past those and such. Anywho's, we had an evolution. We have Vibrava. We need to read about Vibrava and see what we can learn. So Vibrava is a dragonfly-like Pokemon. It has a small head with two yellow antenna and green bulging eyes with black oval-shaped pupils. Its mouth has two large white teeth protruding from each side. It has a skinny uh, yellow body, four skinny black legs with slender feet, and four green rhombus-shaped rings with black edges. There are similarly colored rhombus shapes at the end of its tail. 
The Brava's wings are not fully developed, so it is unable to fly very far. However, um, it is able to create vibrations and ultrasonic waves with its wings. Humans get headaches from these waves. After causing uh, its prey to faint um, as a sap saprotroph, it spits stomach acid to melt its prey before consumption. That is terrifying. Um, it continues to eat uh, it, this eating process every day to help its wings grow. The Brava calls uh, the desert home. It is known to preserve its captured prey in the desert's hot sands. And our Gen uh, 3 Pokedex information for Vibrava. Ruby says, to make prey faint, Vibrava generates ultrasonic waves by vigorously making uh, two wings vibrate. This Pokemon's ultrasonic waves are so powerful, they can bring headaches um, in people. Sapphire says Vibrava's wings have not yet fully completed the process of growing. Uh, rather than flying long distances, they are more useful for generating ultrasonic waves by vibrating. Emerald's Pokedex says it loses ultrasonic waves by rubbing its wings together. Since Vibrava's wings are still in the process of growing, it can only fly short distances. And Fire Red and Leaf Green say it generates ultrasonic waves by violently flapping its wings. After making its prey faint, it melts the prey with acid. And that is our information on Vibrava. So we're going to swap Latius up and let it take care of this gentleman. This is the last trainer before Winona. Double paralysis, what luck. Ladius is trying to learn Mist Ball, which is his signature move. So we need to learn Mist Ball and keep that through the game. Now we want to heal. We're going to pop back this way really quick and go heal. Especially since Vibrava is asleep right now. I have to remember exactly how I do these puzzles at times. There we go. Alright, we're going to start off with Shelgon, since Shelgon is still at 34 while well, everybody else is at uh, 35. You just realized the only member of your team you ever use is Latias. You haven't used anybody else? Well, and that's the reason we like doing these playthroughs, is we use Pokemon that are often forgotten or overlooked. Uh, we're forced to use every Pokemon. Um, by the way, uh, Zodiac, I know you saw the, um, the rules on uh youtube but if you ever want to see the list of pokemon by type who we have used and who we still have to use 
you can type an exclamation mark teams and that'll give you access to view a uh, google document that shows all the pokemon sorted by their types who we, what we have left who we've used on what teams and such so you can always browse that at your leisure we have Altaria coming out next. We are going to swap over to Vibrava. Latias? I, I'm not sure. Yeah, Latius gets the easy kill. Uses an Orenberry for a little bit of health back. Dragon Breath takes it out. Bop. Tropius is coming out next. Okay. Um. I think we use Shellgon and Tropius. <laughs> There's the sunny day, which means that our ember will do more damage if we want to use it here. Sunny days in the aerial ace. That's exactly what you do. I think the sunny day activates its, what, chlorophyll, so it goes twice as fast. Well, she's going to heal it. We're just fishing for a burn, really. We have another turn of sunlight. Still no burn. Okay, well, it uses synthesis as just as the sun goes away. Still got a lot of health back. Good flinch. Good flinch. Nice. Pelipper. Okay, so Pelipper does no water gun, but I think we want to get Vibrava involved. secret power. Okay, well, it protects. We have a chance to paralyze it with secret power in this environment. We know that from the last gem. Ha ha! Paralysis win! Alright, well, now we are confused. Let's see how much, uh, Dragon Breath does if we get it off. Which we don't. That's gonna do neutral damage. Tries to protect and it gets paralyzed. Okay, so Seeker Power is the way to go. You're so unlucky with confusions. Always, all the time. All the time unlucky. Wow!
she's in a heal, so we're just gonna take this turn to revenge for the flinches. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Spot on analysis. Goodness. Say what? I just, you know, the, uh, I'm saying goodness because of all the protects. Like, it's just prolonging this fight. He's not gaining anything from the protects. Except another turn. Get out of here, Pelipper. Good job, the Brava. And as I thought, we did get a major speed boost for Trap Inch when it evolved into the Brava. We're going to swap over to Siege for the Skarmory. This Skarmory is in deep trouble. Get out of here. GG. Boom. That's a badge. Alright, so our next evolutions will be in levels of 5. We'll have Seedra and Dekingdra at level 40. Then we'll have Vibrava and the Flygon at level 45. And then we'll have um, Shellgon and Tessalaments at level 50. So that that's how those all fall. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly how Scarborough was. Ah, I'm in danger. Got all this defense, no special defense for them serfs. All right, so we're going to fly down here to Schleitport. Heal up. <laughs> and we'll go to the next trick house. Excuse me. Thanks, Scott. See him anywhere else. All right, now this is the quiz one. Yes. I I wasn't looking in the right spot. I should have saw it because it was in view. All right. Which Pokemon does not lose Leech Life? Uh, Dust Tox. I, I, I thought, like, from that point out, it all happens above, out of sight, but that must have been the last one. I, I just missed it. Which of these Pokemon was chasing after Professor Birch? He was being chased by a Zigzagoon. Which costs more, three Harbor Mails or a Burn Heal? I think it's a Burn Heal. Object of Beauty. In the Trainer School, how many girls were there? What? I have no idea. Two? Alright, what's this one now? <clears throat> 
not found. I don't know which Route 110 is. Which one's not water type? Azuril is not water type. Azuril is normal type. Gains the water typing when it evolves. We already have this one. Sell one Great Ball and buy one potion. How much money remains? More men or more women? There's more men. Didn't even know you can catch Oddish and Emerald? Yeah. Slate Ports, Fan Club, how many Pokemon were there? Goodness. Three. Oh, I didn't get this. And see, that, that one's not the fun one because there's no, um, there's no trainers. Swap up Latius. It's time for us to go surfing and face some trainers. So yeah, you can catch Oddish just outside of Marvel. Yep, yep, yep. There are Oddish there. Good place to train special attack off of. Oh, I know Thunderbolt. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life, Latius? Twenty years and you never knew that. <laughs> Learn something new all the time in the Pokemon with me. Thunderbolt. So all we need to finish out Latius's move set is um Calm Mind. Draco Meteor was Gen 5? I'd have to look. That's a good question. Looks like it's Gen 4. Even though that looked like a surf that does normal damage. Oh, 
Huh. Just keep power forward. Get it, Shell Gong. Dust stocks and a beauty fly. Makes sense for a couple. Uh, you assume we grind normally over here? So, we, we don't do a whole lot of grinding. Um, we, we, we grind up to the gym leader's highest level Pokemon whenever we're about to face a gym leader. We take on all the trainers that we possibly can before each one. So, we try not to just, you know, grind, grind. And if I can influence where Eevees go, I try to, but it's not a um, priority of mine. Uh, if a Pokemon gets Eevees I don't want it to have, then it gets Eevees I don't want it to have. Um... But if I can kind of influence it a little bit where they fall, then I do. But we keep everybody at the same level. Make sure no one falls behind. Which one am I worried about more? Probably the Skarmory. Primarily hardcore Nuzlocke these days, so you I'm very used to wear candy spam. Oh, yeah, I don't do that, yeah. We don't follow Nuzlocke rules. These, these teams are hard enough at times as it is without implementing Nuzlocke on top of things. Good level up. Now oh, let's use Mist Ball. We haven't used this yet. It's cool animation. I apologize for the person earlier that was chatting that was trying to just sell their, um, you know, their skills. You get that a lot on Twitch. And I'm just, this is not the place to do it. This is not the channel that the sell stuff. I don't buy. Uh, it just saves time with the rare candy spam. Plus, you follow level cap, so you can't over level rare candies or not. Or, right, right. Sully was goofy, good for a laugh to, uh, how mad they were after. Yeah, they always try to go really hard, and oh, you're so cool, and this is great, and then you tell them you're not interested, and they're like, well, bye. And he's kind of okay.
look at the Brava go. Jump. Good dig. Static is not good, though. We always seem to get staticked. Shredo. Oh, well, that's also not good. I'd like to not get burnt. Actually, can I do this? Or not 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 burnt, but paralyzed. Register Corey here. Find a star piece. We are going to end this episode here for today. Uh, we will be back tomorrow with more Pokemon. Uh, we do hope you all enjoyed the episodes today, and we will see you next time. Take care, everybody, and have a good rest of your Thursday.